Good evening, graduates, guests, families, friends. My name is Mark Newby, and I will be emceeing the festivities this evening. Please welcome Patricia Abanoha for the national anthem. Graduates and guests, please rise. remain standing and welcome salutatorian Cynthia Rodriguez for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please welcome Principal Scott Osterholt. Good evening and welcome. I'm proud to be the principal of Dozier Living Medical High School and honor our graduates tonight. I'd like to welcome the parents, family members, friends of Dozier Living. It's my honor to introduce to you members of the Antioch Unified School District Board of Education, acknowledging tonight Dr. Clyde Lewis. It's my honor also to introduce our Antioch Unified District officials, Stephanie Anello, Superintendent of Schools, Jessica Romeo, Deputy Superintendent, and Scott Bergerhaus, Director of Student Support Services, Lindsay Wisely, Director of Secondary Education, and our Vice Principal, Pam Seto. This time, I'd like to have opening remarks by Dr. Clyde Lewis. Good evening, honored guests faculty, 
staff, administrators, family, and especially the Dozier Libby graduating class of 2022. A graduation ceremony is such a wonderful occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the realization and acknowledgement of the many challenges overcome and successes reached. Because of this, is it only fitting that we gather here tonight to celebrate the journey that our graduates, their families, and friends set out on over 12 years ago. And these last few years, ah, the past few years have been especially challenging. COVID, distance learning, working together in our homes, all of these things presented new and challenging ways that you had to experience education. And guess what? You stared steadfast into the face of that challenge and you overcame it. Wait a minute, you guys should be sitting, right? Should they be sitting? <laughs> yeah, you guys can sit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's war. <laughs> For this, you should be proud. For the last three years, or 26,280 hours, you have had to adapt, redirect, change course, and adjust. And guess what? You did it. Absolutely. There we go. <laughs> you are the face of the future, and I'm here for it. Thank you for inspiring all those around you. Thank you for leading the charge and showing the world that you will stick to your goals and overcome them no matter what. It is said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Well, tonight represents the first step towards your future. Whether the next phase be college, a job, or a gap year, just remember that you will have, you will and have continued to push forward through any challenge you may face. Let's look back for a second over the last few years. On March 2020, 20th, 2020, the world was brought to a grinding halt. Like all of us, you were unsure about how long it would take to slow the curve, but you stayed focused. Though nervous and not sure what tomorrow would bring, you developed a plan, stuck with that plan, shared that plan with your freak peers, and collectively you pushed forward. These lessons will stick with you for the rest of your lives. In the future, when faced with challenges, remember how you persevered, planned, and strived during the COVID years towards graduation. Because of your perseverance and in spite of all the challenges presented to you, the culmination is you sitting here before all of us ready to graduate. I think I can speak on behalf of the Board of Education, the administration, the staff, the faculty, and your families when I say we are proud of the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> to quote a movie most of you have probably never heard of, the future is now. It's back to the future, by the way. With that, I wish you all success, and I will be eagerly waiting to hear about all the wonderful things you and your classmates will accomplish. My name is Dr. Clyde Lewis, and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. Please welcome the first commencement speaker of the evening, valedictorian James Geronimo. Good evening, fellow graduates, loved ones, teachers, and staff. It is an honor to stand before you all today. The class of 2022 are about to make our most momentous transition into a world of endless possibilities, each of us pursuing the futures we aspire to obtain. With confidence, I'm proud to say that I'm standing before the future doctors, the future teachers, and the future leaders, and the future change makers of our nation and world. I remember walking onto the Dozier Libby campus, embracing the foreign atmosphere of the farm life school. The blazing hot sun shining against my neck, the fading summer breeze brushing off my baggy scrubs, the restless chatter of countless uneasy high school students, and all the new faces of my peers who I'd be spending the next four years of my life with. The same peers I'm glad to now refer to as family. It is so crazy to think that we are here right now 
We have made it. We have earned this moment. And we should all be incredibly proud of ourselves that we have gotten this far. But before we take our first steps into the next phase of our lives, walking off this field as bona fide high school graduates, I want us to reflect on a quote that our senior family member, Mason, lived by from Kyojuro Rengoku of Demon Slayer. Live with your head held high, no matter how devastated you may be by your own weakness or uselessness. Set your heart ablaze. Grit your teeth and look straight ahead. I want us to take this quote with us as we venture off on our separate paths to inspire us to let our hearts guide us. Remember the importance of becoming who you will be in this world, living out the mission statements we each created with sincerity and doing so with our hearts set ablaze, filled from head to toe with determination, courage, and enthusiasm. Full send each opportunity you face, as Mason would say. It can seem like a daunting task at first, but remember your roots. Remember all the obstacles you overcame, the barriers you struggled through, and the pandemic you endured. We each came out of a long pandemic as different people from when we entered it. What was supposed to be an early two-week break turned into two months into almost two years of being isolated in our homes. While some thrived, many others struggled. But in the end, we made it here, each with a unique set of experience, experiences that differentiate for us from the rest. We now sit in these chairs with pride, a pride we should all carry with us as we make our marks on the world. I want us to never forget the connections you created, the memories you formed, and the accomplishments you earned. Know that from our first integrated project, Living Your Best Life, all the way to our Be The Change projects, we have proven time and time again that we're well equipped with the skills and the passion to make change in this world. Now, it is up to us to apply our experiences beyond the comforts of our home and continue being the change in our communities. In the end, each and every one of you are like cranes soaring in the sky. You determine where your final destination is, so spread your wings and fly as far and as high as you can go. Fly high with spirit and energy as our dear friend Mason did. He was a pillar of kindness, courage, and strength, a lively energy who reminded us to truly live and embrace the present moment. Remember to live with your head held high Set your heart ablaze, grit your teeth, and look straight ahead. The future is bright, everybody. Now, it is up to you to make it a great future or not. The choice is yours. I thank you all, and congratulations to the Dozier Libby graduating class of 2022. Thank you, James. Before we get to the presentation of the class of 2022, I think it's appropriate uh, to acknowledge the retirement of Mr. Osterholt, who serving over, this is going to sound really long, by the way, five decades uh, in education as an administrator, a teacher, and a very accomplished wrestling coach as well. We wish you the best and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Libby. So before I start my little reflection, I want to remind you that there are some cooling stations over near the restrooms. So if you need to take care of yourself, please make sure you value yourself some water. So I was recently asked to reflect upon the class of 2022. And obviously, they're my last class. So in reflection, you met me in October 2019 Two of your classmates came up to me and they introduced themselves and they looked at me and they said, so, so what do you call yourself? Uh, who are you? I said, with a smile, I'm the hammer. And I said with a smile, knowing that a hammer is the tool that you use 
to make steel stronger, give a finer edge, maybe show a little bit of accountability and discipline. Discipline is not a bad word. Many of you uh, met me at the parking lot where I would take pictures of your IDs. You got upset. I love you. You had such beautiful smiles. And I set the tone to make sure that you're always doing what's right, that you think about giving your best. So for some of you who have had the opportunity to listen to my lectures, uh, last night you had a water balloon fight. It looked fun, and I reminded you, for every balloon I pick up, that will be one more minute of my speech. I picked up 20. So if you need to go to the cooling station, please make sure you head over there. But I hope that what you learned is that um, I show up every day, and I try to bring a little bit of kind and caring and to listen. And I think that we have to make sure that we are always an example for children, that we defend humanity, that we never engage in battles with weaker opponents, that we are always on time. The young man knows who I'm talking to. Be prepared, mutual respect, give your best, and have fun. So I'm hoping for you that you have a lot of fun. The one thought I leave with you is, Believe in yourselves. It is with honor that I present the Dozier Liddy Medical High School Class of 2022 to Antioch Unified School District Superintendent of Schools, Stephanie Anello. Thank you, Mr. Osterholt. As the superintendent of the Antioch Unified School District, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to accept the 2022 graduating class from Dozier Libby Medical High School. That's right. <laughs> Give them a hand. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and on behalf of the Antioch Unified School District Board of Education, I have certified that each of you has completed the graduation requirements set forth by the Antioch Unified School District and by the State of California. Having completed these requirements, I confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all of its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Henceforth, you are to be known as high school graduates and alumni of Dozier Libby Medical High School. Congratulations. Thank you, Superintendent Anello. Will the Honor Guard please take your position? I have two questions for the class of 2022. If you are the first member of your immediate family to graduate from high school, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. If you are the first member of your immediate family to be attempting to go to college, would you please stand? We congratulate both you and your families. Thank you. Will the first row Please stand. Patricia Jean Marie Ramos Abeneja.
Chinamso Chikare Archelano. Leslie Alejandra Acosta. Tyler Walter Manuel Adams. Roxana Leslie Adriano. Muhammad Ali Ahmad. Joshua Akigbi. Anthony Joshua Alanese Hermiston. James Emmanuel Rico Geronimo. Amarachi Chihara Ibe. Cynthia Joanna Rodriguez. Serenity Yvette Yates. Delphina Miracle Allen. David Alvarez. Logan Xavier Amesqua. Kaylin Jasmine Janine Amy. Richmond Aponde Jr. Rachel Marie Jeniston Aquino. Mariella Arce. Nathaniel Warren Arsenal. Kailani Paige Baldridge Alvarez. Syed Mustafa Barrez. Ayesha Nadine Hemaya Barrera. Zachary Jacob Belasi. Paige Alexandria Bell. Isaiah Jayton Brown McCoy. Crystal Caballero. Giselle Angelina Castillo. Carla Maria Castro. Nathania Ria Nicole De La Fuente Cauban. Ivy Elizabeth Chacon Cruz. Jose Fernando Chiguindo Lopez. Aiden Stephen Cadori. Gerardo Cortez. Julian Jose.
Jose Cortez. Brandon Michael Coy. Santiago Lopez. Jasmine Michaela Delgado. Leanne Nicole Pineda Dizan. Haley Brianna Dunham. Ivan Elizondo. Ashley Yarelli Escorcia. Jana Marie Esposito. Isabella Marie Fairhurst. George Colocho Furman. Nicholas Colocho Furman. Abel Jesus Fernandez. Ariana Lissette Fernandez. Noah Benjamin Marquez Florentes. Danielle Eustachio Fortes. Daniel Gomez. Maybelline Alexandra Gomez Valladares. Sidlali Gonzalez. Omar Gonzalez Soto. Kazuo Marcellus Gray. Mariah Erica Green. Aline Alessandra Guzman. Jamie Rochelle Guzman. Sebastian Guzman. Gregory Wynn Ha. Nahom Brahane Hadera. Daryl Deontay Harper Jr. Sophia Esperanza Hashimi. Michael Timothy Hayek. Eric Hayes. Juliana Therese Elos Hermagino.
Hernandez. Kaylee Patricia Higgins. Dimitri Rafael Huerta. Yusuf Jamal Ismail. Justine Nave Paramil. Ryan Scott Johnson. Sincere Kaimani Jordan. Jacqueline Lee Key. Sean Mohammed Khan. Radhakesh Rashal Kumar. Kelvin Kai Lee. Paris Marie Leverett Blackmore. Desiree Charlene Lewis. Anaya Talise Lightning. Jenny Constancia Lindquist. Haley Elizabeth Liston. JC Grace Lodnoff. Aria Majijara. Danya Isabella Martinez. Victoria Michelle Martinez Amaya. Emily Jean Matthew. Marlene Abigail Medina. William Mendoza. Jailene Jael Mendoza Padilla. Sarah Rose Miraz. Araya Lynn Messer Gray. Veronica Marie Mignard. Alexandra Trinidad Mora. Helena Niazi. Khan Tran Dong Win. Johanna Elizabeth Oak. Ferris Mohammed Obad. Yemisi Sincere Obalade Jr. Janessa Rose Olapernis. Samantha Gracida Palomino. Daniel Alexander Panduro. Daniel Pantoja.
Emiliano Mendoza Partida. Ashley Kwanbe Pell. Tanya Lisbeth Perez Vargas. Kirsty Maureen Pesantes. Omar Ricardo Pineda. Alanis Maricela Ramirez. Caitlin Brooke Ramos. Priscilla Isis Vallejo Ramos. Nathanine Lay Garcia Ravago. Tamira Marie Reed. Evelyn Carla Rio. Nancy Rio. Michelle Alexandra Rivera Rivera. Deja Ray Robinette. Sarah Elizabeth Rodriguez Campos. Francesca Lucas Romero. Chantel Saavedra. Alexany Salgado. Samantha Elizabeth Salguera. Rihanna Janae Sanchez. Leslie Sandoval. Aramami Sheku Pepe. Jamel Sami Shaheen. Tanya Sharma. Joshua Kyle Makamale Ochoa. Trinity Otello. Andrea Ileana Tenorio. Dianara Scarlett Tinoco. Tanya Torres. Natalie Erisa Elbo Tucker. Alicia Raquel Turner. Shelly Urani. Rejoice Jarampan Umo. Arlene Valdez. Isaiah Antonio Biasio. Jonathan Arandu Venegas Pintuda. Ellen Villaneda Nunez. Tina Marie Walker. Landon Chase Wheeler. Joseph 
Amanda Razi. Mehran Sahanu Zavi. Mason James B. Rodriguez. Please welcome our second commencement speaker, Ms. Amarache Ibai. My mom has always been work smart, not hard, so sorry, mom. <laughs> Those are Libby Medical High School, class of 2022, senior family. You have accomplished one of many milestones you will accomplish in our lives. Today we celebrate the past four years of growth and hard work. Inspired by that 1159 timestamp on every assignment, slightly traumatized by those time right, almost drowned by projects, and nearly dragged through the mud by presentations. Yet we are still here today to walk with you. As we look back on the past four years of high school, we can single out one group of individuals who caused our tragedy, the teachers. I'm kidding. Those lovely human beings actually saved us, and to the young adults, we are today. I remember stepping onto the Georgia Libby campus thinking that the seniors were so much bigger than me and so much older. Having been a senior myself, it honestly has showed up in me. This school was always going to be such a core memory for me and my career, from the chaotic after-school traffic that can be in for 15 minutes, to the outrageous lunch lines and free drinks, I'm not that hungry anymore, thank God, <laughs> to when a class late despite the campus being smaller than a shoebox, where I was late almost every day. <laughs> I can honestly say I enjoyed my high school experience. Growing through the years and getting to know everyone up to now, my senior year makes it feel like we have a second family, a senior family. I have gotten to know so many unique and amazing people and personalities in this crowd, and I've always felt welcomed and safe in this high school. We learn together, cry together, laugh together, and so much more, and we get to take our next step, next step into our personal journey, and I would like to congratulate everyone for earning their diploma, which symbolizes our growth, perseverance, resilience, and diligence as we deal with not just work. 
Although we are going our separate ways, we take some Emily Sweeney to be with us. I would like to end by giving a shout out to Miss Kay Sweeney as she is departing from the school with us. She's a phenomenal human, teacher, mentor, and friend. She taught with a whole heart and shared so much for the senior family. I'm glad I met him, learned from him, and connected with him, not only as a teacher, but as an equal. I'm glad that he taught us throughout the year not only to care about ourselves, but to care about others as well. He said it not only once, and not twice, or three times, but again and again. Mr. Libby says, you don't grow in size or comfort. So stay in my heart and will remain in my mind forever. Wise words from a wise man that I hope we can all live by. So as we leave the comfort of our high school experience, I hope all of us can step out of our comfort zone and try something new, take a risk, make new friends, and live life to the fullest. Again, congratulations to the Dozier Libby Medical High School class of 2022. We earned this moment, and I am so proud of us. Once the diamond back, always the diamond back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amarachi. Please welcome once again uh, Principal Scott Osterholt for the certification of the class of 2022. Thank you. What a great evening. So at this time, we certify the class of 2022 with a tassel ceremony. So if we have Serenity Yates come up. family, teachers, friends, and peers. It's your senior class president here to say, I'm beyond proud and amazed by all we have accomplished. You did everything you were supposed to do despite the pandemic, despite losing a beloved classmate, and despite all, all the other troubles behind closed doors no one else may have witnessed. I remember walking into Doja Libby scared because I was new to Antioch, but I made lifelong friends here and overall had an amazing year. As I stand here in front of you all, I feel a deep sense of delight. You should all give yourselves a pat on the back for opening this new chapter in your life because you did. You got up every morning, worked hard, and handled your business like the young, responsible adults we have become. I want to thank everyone for helping to shape me into the young woman I am. Follow your dreams, do what you love, no matter what the critics may say, because life is all about self dreams and it is up to you to fill your own cup. I love you all, 2022 grad. Now is the moment you have all been working and waiting for. Graduates, please stand. You may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2022. 